Oh baby, we got a big one to talk about today with highly on stock, accused of fraud. We got another short report coming out. We had a short report on Nicola. We had a short report on Workhorse, and now we have a short report on Hylion accusing the CEO and the company of embellishing some facts. They're saying that the company is overvalued and saying that basically Hylion stock is going to crash, continue to crash, and go much lower. So in today's video, we're gonna break down the short report. We're gonna talk about all things Hylion stock, my personal position in Hylion stock, my future investing plan on Hylion, some current news and updates regarding Hylion stock, and we're gonna go through that short report line by line and talk about its validity, see if there's any fact, any merit, to the accusations. If you're new to the channel, my name is Kevin. This is Touchdown Trades. I'm your trading BFF, your stock market bestie. I whipped out the money suit again, the green Hylion suit. Got the dry cleaners, just got it back from the dry cleaners, so it's nice and toasty, nice and fresh. It may look a little wrinkled, but that's just an optical illusion. It is nice and toasty straight from the dry cleaners because when I put on the big money suit, we're talking about Hylion, baby. Let's quit wasting time. Let's jump into this short report. We're gonna analyze it, go into detail, talk about it. We need to do so as Hylion investors, Hylion backers. We can't be blinded by the fact that we have faith in the company and we need to take accusations like this seriously. So let's check it out. And as always, let's secure that bag by making smart investments and in sound trades. Let's get it, baby. What's up, what's up my trader and investor homies? Today we're gonna to be breaking down one of my favorite companies in the entire market. We're gonna be talking about Hylion stock. There has been some major updates, some major news since the last time we talked about the company. So we're gonna be doing a full depth Hylion stock analysis today, updates news, and we're gonna be going over a short report in which a short seller is bashing the stock, saying that Hylion basically is a fraud and that the CEO, Trevor Milton, has been embellishing and that Hylion is not worth as much as it's trading at today. So we're gonna go into that short report, analyze it, go through line by line and see if there's any validity to it or is it just a bunch of BS like we saw with the workhorse short report? Or is there validity to the report like the one with Nicola? So let's jump right into it and talk about all things highly on stock. Before we get started though, make sure you hit that like button for me as it helps me and the channel grow. And if you're looking for a great broker, check out the link in the description for Webull. I got the Webull platform pulled up here. It's much better than Robinhood as they offer a desktop platform for free with level two, great charts. The news feed is outstanding. People pay for a news feed this good. You can see that the news feed has the short report on there and some other articles that are just coming out. So the news feed is on point, the charts are on point. You got level two and you just can't beat the platform. Free commissions and a free desktop platform. And on top of that, if you use the link in the description of this video, you will get two stocks for free when you deposit $100 or more before the end of October. All right, let's jump into all things Hylion. So I got the daily chart pulled up here and we can see that Hylion stock has still continued to sell off since the last time we talked. And all you Hylion haters out there are loving this, roasting me in the comments, but wait till the end of the video and I'll tell you why it's about to be over, the selling is about to be over. Where it looks, it looks like we're hitting a bottom here at the $27 area. We've put in a bottom, we came back up, bounced up, and now we're retesting that bottom, and we'll see if it can hold. Let's jump into the short report and talk about that. So a short report has came out on Hylion stock. If you saw the one that Hindenburg Research did on Nikola, there was a lot of true problems with the Nicola as a with Nicola as a company in that Hindenburg short report. And then there was one by Fuzzy Panda on Workhorse that was just a bunch of baloney that was a bunch of crap and there was nothing really true in that short report and it didn't really cause anything. So let's dive into this report done by Bonitas Research and see if it is valid or not. So Bonitas Research is a no name, it's another no name short seller. 
So right off the jump, that throws some shade on this short report. If you're a real short seller that has done real research into a company and has found dirt on that company, wouldn't you want to put your name on it? That's just my opinion. All right, so what they're going to be talking about in this short report is Hylion's key, so Hylion's key tech purchase for less than one US million dollars. So what, right? If they got a good deal on some tech, so what? Dana not interested in using Hylion tech themselves. They're talking about Dana, the big trucking fleet company, and that's that's not true. They don't know that. There's a, Dana and Hylion already have a strategic partnership. So number two, already out the window, history of failed pilot programs. That's what R&D is all about. Learning from your mistakes. You're a startup company. You're not gonna nail it on the head the first go around, right? Okay, so they, they had a couple of mistakes in their prior research and design experiments. So what? Four, 30% fuel savings claim despite significant changes in tech and design. There's no proof there. Fake NASA credential, what? Hyper truck ERX tech supported by zero Hylion patents. Okay, I don't see another EV big class eight trucking company trying to do this hybrid powertrain solution that we're so bullish on. So. If they don't have a patent on it, who cares? Warranty claim untrue. I've heard people talking about, oh, if you use a highly on powertrain, the warranty is invalid. And that's just flat out not true. Do you think if a company is going to make a two, three hundred thousand dollar investment in a truck, they're going to make sure that the warranty is going to stay intact? This warranty nonsense is just not accurate. All right, so if we go on further, it says, Hylion Corp is a U.S. 4.5 billion market cap company that claims its current hybrid technology can be retrofitted to any Class 8 diesel truck for immediate 30% fuel efficiency savings. Yes, accurate. And that is why I love this company. We've talked about the bridge effect. We got the big trucking fleets over here. And we got total EV over here. The big trucking fleets are scared of EV. They're not going to go out and buy straight up EV trucks from Tesla or Nikola right off the jump. Why? Because these truckers are your big construction hardening dudes. They like diesel trucks. They don't want to have to stop and recharge their truck. So this hybrid powertrain is going to act as a bridge to get the truckers to total electric. As Hylion uses this as a bridge, they're going to be able to establish a customer base with these trucking fleets and maybe five, six, seven years down the road, sell them those total electric trucks. So as Hylion works on their all total electric trucks, they're going to be able to use this hybrid powertrain as a middleman to try to get to total electric. None of these other companies are doing so, and that is why I'm so bullish on Hylion. So what this short seller is saying is a bad thing, I actually think is a good thing. They even mentioned Jim Cramer in this short report. How unprofessional can a short seller get? I thought the Fuzzy Panda short report was going to be one of the worst short reports I've ever seen, but this just tops it off. On October 15th, Jim Cramer's Mad Money cautioned investors to be patient and that Hylion is not a buy at these levels. If the bobblehead pundit doesn't think your stock is a buy, who does? How many times have we seen Jim Cramer be wrong? He hated on Tesla. He's hated. He was buying retail. He was telling people to buy the retail brick and mortar dip. Jim, Jim Cramer is wrong more than he's right. So this short report is just a bunch of speculation and a bunch of nonsense and the fact that the short seller didn't put their name on it just leads me to believe that it's a bunch of crap and I'm not paying it any attention. Here's the article that the short seller is referring to with Jim Cramer. It says the electric truck company Hylion has a compelling story but be patient on the stock. Jim Cramer advised investors to hold off on buying shares of the newly public Electric truck company Hylion Holdings. The Mad Money host stressed he found the company's story compelling but worried about its present valuation. I kind of like the story and I think it's worth buying if you can get the stock around $20, maybe less, he added. So he's saying that he likes Hylion, but he wants to get it at $20 per share. That's Everybody wants to get it at $20 per share, Jim. I want it at $20 a share too. I just don't think that's realistic. That's like saying, yeah, I like Tesla, or yeah, I like Amazon, 
but I want to wait for it to pull back to $500 a share. So don't buy Amazon right now because it's trading way up high. Wait till it pulls back to $500 a share. Yeah, hindsight's 2020, Jim, but we are never going to get that pullback, in my opinion. So if you just wait on the sidelines and watch, watch this thing go to the moon. Let's talk about some good news. I've mentioned this article on Investor Place before by a guy named Luke Lango, and he nails it right on the head. He says, a lot of promising companies have burst on the Wall Street scene over the past few months via reverse mergers with SPACs, but few have made a, as flashy of a debut as electric trucking company Hylion. And then he goes on to say basically, is Hylion worth what it's trading at today? And then he says basically, yes. In short, all the hype is a result of Hylion's novel and breakthrough alternative drive system, which could pioneer enormous disruption across the 800 billion global trucking market. And yes, Hylion deserves the hype because if the company executes on its growth roadmap over the next few years, this is a $30 billion company. That's what have I been saying for months and months. That's the exact same thing I've been saying. What do we like to invest in here on Touchdown Trades? Disruptive technology. And this Hylion is the definition of disruptive tech. Nobody else is doing what they're doing. The hybrid powertrain is the bridge to total EV. People don't get it. Your normal peop, your normal investors don't get it that trucker and trucking fleets aren't going to want to buy total electric trucks off the jump. They're not going to want to buy a Tesla Class 8 truck right away because these guys are driving 800 mile licks in a day. They're driving eight, nine, 10 hours straight and only stopping because they legally have to, okay? And they're not going to, they're not going to want to have to stop three hours in and charge their Tesla Class A truck and they can use the Hylion hybrid powertrain and they can hit that 800 mile lick. No other company offers that. So Hylion has a competitive advantage. They're disrupting the market and I personally love investing in disruptive tech. And I think two, three years from now, this is a $30 billion company. And I think the author of this article is spot on. Before we break down the chart like we always do, I just wanna conclude by saying, I think the short report is bogus. I think Jim Cramer is a little bit off. He did say that he likes Hylion as a company, but he just thinks it's a little bit overvalued. And there's an argument both ways. And personally, I just don't think it's overvalued because of the growth potential. Growth stocks trade at valuations higher, higher price to earnings ratios to its peers. Why? Because they're growing faster and they can grow into that valuation. So I think this is a $30 billion company a few years from now. So there's some, so if the market cap is 4.5 billion right now, how many X is that? That's six X. So in three years, if this is a stock that's trading at $120, if three years from now, this is a stock that's trading at $120, is it worth buying at $27? I'd say so. So I think Jim Cramer is right that Hylion's a good company, but I think he's wrong that it's not a buy at these levels. And I think the short report is just a guy who's short selling Hylion. He's probably living in his mom's basement and he's trying to make a quick buck and he didn't even put his name on the short report. So that is just trash in my opinion. All right, let's break down the chart. I got the daily chart pulled up and we have been selling off. We've given back pretty much the entirety of this last few months of this big giant move we made. I think most retail, most retail traders and investors who bought in pre-merger, I think they're mostly been flushed out. So I, I think we're starting to base out here at the $27 level. We have the 200 EMA creeping up and I think that's going to act as support and I can see us rounding back out and heading higher. So I, I alerted our private Discord chat last week that I was taking a trade in Hylion, so I added to my position, and I'm looking for this thing to make a move. If you wanna get in on the private Discord chat, check out the link in the description for the two-week free trial. I still am a big believer in Hylion. I still think it's a $100 stock within the next 24 months, so all you haters, you can ridicule me now. for now. For now, you are the winner. 
my friends, all you haters out there. But within 24 months, I'll be laughing in your face when I'm taking this Hylion stock to the bank, baby. All right, that's going to wrap up the video. I hope you guys got something from it. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. If you're not yet a subscriber, consider subscribing. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.